Hello, everyone. Today we will learn about inchworm pests and their prevention and control. There are more than 10 kinds of inchworm pests that harm tea trees. In China, there are mainly tea inchworm, polonia inchworm, wood inchworm, tea silver inchworm, gray inchworm, gray tea inchworm, and so on. Today, we will focus on learning the distribution, morphological characteristics, living habits, and preventive measures of tea inchworm. Tea inchworm, also known as archworm, mainly feeds on the young leaves of tea trees. When it is serious, it can eat up the whole tea garden and leave no tea leaves to pick, looking as if burned by fire, which seriously affects the tree vigor and tea yield of tea trees. It is mainly distributed in Zhejiang, Jiangsu, Anhui, Hunan, Hubei, and other provinces, especially in the tea production areas of Jiangnan. The adults of the tea inchworm are all gray-white, and the wing surface is sparsely covered with brownish scales. The inner horizontal line, outer horizontal line, outer edge line, and sub-outer edge line of the forewing are dark brown, bent into wavy lines, and there are seven small black spots on the outer edge. Larvae's body is slender, surface is smooth. Fake plant branches, it has feet only on the sixth and buttock joint. When it is still, the sixth abdominal foot and hip feet are often used to hold the branches and leaves of the tea tree. It erects false branches, which is not easy to find. When crawling, the body bends and stretches, which is commonly known as archworms. In life habits, the tea inchworm has five to six generations a year. Pupae overwinter in the soil near the rhizosphere of tea trees. Adults have phototaxis, and eggs are piled up in cracks in tea tree bark, and where the dead branches, fallen leaves rot. Larvae of one to two years old often focus on damage, forming a pest center. The damaged parts of the third instar larvae began to disperse and gradually moved downward. After the fourth instar larvae began to overeat and when they matured, they climbed onto the surface soil near the tea rhizosphere to pupate. The relationship between the occurrence of insect pests and the environment. One, tea gardens surrounded by mountains. Tea garden sheltered from the wind and facing the sun. Tea gardens with abundant sunshine are seriously affected. Two, the main parasitic natural enemies of wind shelter are tea inchworm cocoon wasps, accounting for 95.93% of parasitoids. The main predatory natural enemies are spiders and birds, such as Coleoptera maculata, cat spider twill, etc. 4. Pathogenic natural enemies include T. inchworm nuclear polyhedrosis virus, Bacillus thuringiensis, and so on. There are four methods to control the T. inchworm pests. 1. Light trap. Use the adult strong phototaxis by lighting in the field to trap and kill them. During the adult stage, reduce their occurrence. 2. Clean the garden to kill pupae, combined with plowing and fertilizing in winter. Deep burying insect pupae in fallen leaves and topsoil near the rhizosphere. 3. Protect and utilize natural enemies. Minimize the use of chemical pesticides in tea gardens and protect parasitic and predatory natural enemies in the field. 4. 
Chemical Control The control medicine can be 1,800 to 1,000 times of 0.6% matrine aqueous solution, 2.5% of deltamethrin EC, 300 times, and 4.5% cypermethrin EC, and 20,000 to 300 X EC. Spraying the pesticide at their early stage. That's all for this lesson. Are you clear?